Wayne Ratliff is cleaning up. And not just because he's a housekeeper. Recently, things have really picked up. It's like, how could I, a housekeeper, come up with something that none of the governments, none of our governments, none of our corporations come up It's just like, nah, 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 I can't be stumbling on this. Wayne turned 50 and wanted to start eating better. So he began to research the ingredients in food. And with his research, he developed an iPhone app called Don't Eat That. I didn't even know it went on sale. All of a sudden, I started getting emails for people thanking me for this product. I'm like, We're, it's not even online yet. Of the 140,000 or so apps available, Don't Eat That has become a hit, featured in Apple stores as one of the top 1% of all apps. So if you're concerned about genetically modified food, you would completely avoid this. Look at the ingredients of the package, type in what you might not recognize, and don't eat that tells you what the FDA and European food experts know about it. Potassium bromate is a considered a carcinogen and prohibited in most countries. It is not banned in the U.S. That's in a lot of breads. Making pancakes? And dextrose is dextrose is a glucose or simple sugar usually made from corn. This ingredient may be a concern to residents or travelers to the United United States and Canada because it is most likely made from genetically modified corn. That is not put on the box. So now you're able to find out all the things that are bad and the stuff you eat. Thiamine mononitrate, cara, do I really want to know what's in this stuff? Some of my favorites that I just know I'm not going to give up, I'm in denial about. Like, I just don't even look, well, these. <laughs> Dwayne isn't a complete fanatic, but built the app for people who might need to know, like pregnant women and concerned parents. He made back his investment in a week and is now making a profit. He's still a working housekeeper, but may be able to stop if the don't eat that profits continue to help him clean up. Mike Sugarman, CBS 5.